the year 1990. The book, Lego Ideas number 260. The content, awesome. So I'm going to thumb through a book from 1990. This is ideas book number 260 and as you can see from the front cover it's all about ideas to build with Lego. Now interestingly what you see on the front cover doesn't actually reflect what's in the book at all in any way shape or form but it looks really cool. Got a guy here looks like a foreman, you've got a pirate, you've got a knight in the background, you've got a Lego man, You've got a builder at the front here. So actually it does reflect what's in the book, but you don't build anything like that. But the only thing from this cover that's in the book is these architectural drawings, which I'll show you in a minute. So let's turn to the first page where you get the usual Lego intro in lots and lots and lots and lots of languages. And there you can see what I said about the, the architectural drawings coming in, as well as our Lego built people from the front cover, which look really cool and cute. Stepping into it, trying not to push down too hard on the fold. Here we have some of the simpler builds. And back in this time, you could actually buy, like you get the creator boxes now, they did actually do similar things then, where you built these things like these planes. And that's where this comes in, where you'd buy, you know, you could build these animals. It was like really about just building really super simple things with bricks. And it's an interesting mix, because you've got these big brick built animals here. You've got these crazy big animals over here. That's like a dog who's a nurse and a and a cow who's a I don't know, a pirate I guess. And yeah, interesting. You've got dinosaurs going on here. You've got alligators. And then there's aeroplanes and helicopters in the background. These two helicopters look like they've just about to collide, so there's a bit of an issue there. And then you've got over here sort of going into almost city building with the minifigures and things going on and, and the vehicles and stuff so it's an interesting like crazy lego scene going on there i really like it turning on to the next page what have we got and we go straight into what these ideas books are great for and that is ideas and here we have a really simple combine harvester brick built not trying to do anything too fancy interesting piece here now you may not have seen these but these bricks came with there's four holes in them and you could plug the wheels into them so these wheels you see here plug into them and you could interchange them you could change the size and stuff like that whereas this is a fixed width these ones you could have it as a two or a four wide they don't do that anymore uh, they don't need to do that anymore i'm not really sure how popular this was but you could actually put four wheels on one of these which was kind of interesting because you could make like rotating mechanisms and things like that but what a great scene here we have a whole farmyard going on we've got a little house here the farmer's cottage we've got the uh the farmer collecting uh, harvesting here we've got a processing conveyor belt going on we've got a bit more of the farmyard here with the some kind of a barn and some animals and another tractor and it's just so charming so they show you Again, this is what I called in my Spot the Difference video. You can really see that in full effect here, where you've got like massive jumps in what's going on. It's like they've given you eight steps to build an entire combine harvester. Nine steps, if you look at the last one. And you've got to figure out what brick is needed everywhere. And yeah, in a modern Lego manual, that would have been about 30 steps. And then here, this tractor here, no idea, nothing. But you can look at that and figure it out if you're a hardcore old school Lego builder like me. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone who's old school Lego will know exactly what I meant by that. Here we have a boat. Great. And look at this cute harbour scene going on here. Brick built boat. It's not really, there's nowhere for a minifigure to stand on this. This is purely building a boat out of Lego that you can play with and have fun with. You've got an improvised aerial radar on the top there. And you can see this great scene. I think this crane comes up in a minute, but this crane can just slide along there. It's on rails. You can't quite see it probably in this video, but they've used like fence pieces in there. The crane sits on it. There's a brick in between. It's a technique they use several times in... Um, a lot of these older ideas books and then you've got these big old school hinges on there and you just slide along and it was hours of fun we've got container ships we've got 
um, passenger ships. We've got a fishing boat. We've got the uh, the the actual harbour here. I just absolutely brilliant. Love it. So much fun. And then as you go through the book, you get into slightly more complicated builds. So again, here we have another spot the difference. There's a race car, similar vein to the boat. You absolutely could not get a minifigure in there, but you can see what they've done here. We've got even a a, um, a street car there. We've got crazy race car. I don't remember ever seeing that. That's really awesome. Um, these old school trucks and they really go back to like the 1960s and 70s Lego designs if you go back to there you will see Lego that looks like that love it over here now I've got another ideas book that shows this in a lot more kind of effect but you get the idea of building these like brick built figures of a scale interestingly they're showing you this but again there's minifigures in there so there's a big person and then there's minifigures so they're mixing up these ideas of building people with that and I love this this hair piece she's got I actually didn't realize that piece was that old I guess it would be because of the old pirate stuff which you'll see again in a minute and then we start to get into slightly more complicated builds where we're building a restaurant cafe type thing here with these pieces which come from the monorail stations I believe at the time then I think the airport used it as well um, but again you see this is like a nice tropical island here it's almost like a almost like something out of the uh, out of Barbados or something like that with this like old colonial architecture going on it's really really rather cool an interior there we've got some pots and pans coming in this is 1990 and that draw system is there and the pots and pans Again, I'm blown away. I didn't realize that went that far back. So I didn't have any sets that had that kind of thing in there. I did have some of these pieces, but nothing like that. Or the parrot. Clearly I was getting the wrong sets. Here we have one of my favorites. I built this one in particular. I love it. I had loads of these pieces. Or no, not that piece. A variation of that piece that was actually flat. But I love this sort of dump truck style thing. I was massively into heavy machinery. So this works for a treat. I think I even made that one when I was a kid. Figured that one out too. These are all great. And you can see this shows you what goes into it. Gives you the idea of building it. These other ones you can look at and go, I think I could probably figure that out. Or a version of it with the pieces I had because inevitably you never had the pieces you needed what's on the next one here we have now this is again interesting because it's like this it's not quite it's minifigure size sort of but not like city size so it's a bit of both but again look we've got the motor going in here which was just doing um, was this one powered I don't think this was powered I think this was just lights and sound so we have these big things on here, yeah that's it, so it's the old dial where you could turn that and it made noise and the lights lit up and things like that. This was the old school lighting system, brilliant. Again you can see all these other ideas of fire engines up here, we've got a fire boat, helicopter, great, love it. You can see how much went into this, again spot the difference but not too bad, these massive hinges. I think all those pieces are gone now. I don't think you can get those anymore unless you buy them. And there we have a great city scene. Let's just spend a moment taking that beauty in. <laughs> Let's find that one online. Next one we have a hospital. Again, look at that. We've built an entire hospital in six steps. You'd never get that anymore. <laughs> Quite a lot of detail gone into it. Building up the walls, building it out, very simple. Reminds me of a city set that did actually exist that was a hospital. Now this is where it gets really interesting and I sent this one to Jacob over at Brick Bakery and I'll put a link up in the corner for you here because he recently built a car that looks very much like both of these really. Um, I think, is it actually in the background? No, I don't think it is. But he picked up a lovely set. It was a monster truck, not like that one. But this again was designed to sort of complement that set that you could buy. I think this was around the same era, where they'd set up this whole kind of race scene. Again, giving you ideas. How do I build a race track? Here's like the bikes doing jumps. This going through hoops. There's ramps here. We've got the stadium for racing. They've got a film crew. Like. Just great ideas for things you can do in your city. In fact, I'm looking at this now going, how can I put some of this into my city? Gonna again ponder that straight after this video. Again, moving on, fire truck, again using that sound, light and sound system from the 90s. If you're not familiar with it, Google 1990s light and, Lego light and sound, then you'll see what I mean. This is a big beast of a system. And Lego's actually just brought this back in the latest sets 
but it's much 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 smaller than that now it's actually tiny it takes a tiny battery and yeah doesn't need an entire vehicle just to have the battery box in it helicopter yeah thousand helicopters but you needed it there's the cool this was a, a great set of airport um stuff you could buy back then it's kind of like the airplanes uh the the trains back then where you had the whole aeroplane accessories here we have a harbour scene going on building sailboats little um micro light kind of planes and then there's a speedboat that's really cool again there was some marina sets around this time so that fits with that they're showing this whole marina scene again it's got a very kind of i'm gonna say barbados i might not mean barbados but that kind of um area Next, we've got building into actually proper city now. You know, we had the car wash and stuff in the background. And here we have a nice tow truck. Here we have a lorry. So you can build this lorry and then add any trailers you want. You can see here, there's an example of a trailer. Completely brick built. Looks brilliant. Absolutely great design. Tankers down here, slightly different design to this one. Not quite as big, but again, looks really cool. There's a trailer. That looks a lot like my, uh, my, um, Stunton copter that I built recently is linked in the corner. Oh, look at that. I have a confession. I never had any castle stuff and I wish I had and I'm going to have to go and pick up some vintage stuff because it's just it's just look at it. It's just amazing. This is a theme along with the pirate stuff that I really hope Lego brings back in space. Right. Pirate space and castles. All of those, that's it. Get rid of Star Wars. Sorry, Star Wars fans. <laughs> just upset half of my viewers. But this is just amazing stuff. I think this is just stunning. Stunning, 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 stunning. I'm gonna come back and look at that again in a minute. Um, here we have Robin Hood with his band of men. We've built an entire Robin Hood's hiding tree house with targets and stuff like that for it in 10 steps. So you can see like what's involved here. Actually, no, this is unusual. They've given you a bit of a breakdown here. <laughs> Gives you a bit of an idea as to what goes into it. But again, it's quite hard because you can't really see what's behind it. If anything, assuming there is. And then there's this great scene of the forest. So some of these are actual sets again. So they've really sort of tried to enhance what you could buy with the ideas in this book. It's just fantastic. Look at that base plate. <laughs> now that's brilliant. That's a, a really nice scene there as well. Again, they, they're showing you enough of building it. That's actually quite a lot of steps they've included there. That's really cool. It reminds me a bit of what Dr. McBrick actually did in his uh, in one of his theme park updates recently. I've just put a link up in the corner to that one so you can see it. But he actually did do a water wheel in his theme park because he has like a bit of a medieval theme going on in, uh, in Figsdale. And here we have pirate ships. Ah, the Barracuda. I think that's the Barracuda. Great, that's on my dream list, that ship, unless they ever re-release it. We've got the castle fortress and pirates on, <laughs> on little rafts and all sorts of things going on here. And then they show you how to build a little pirate ship here. It's kind of like uh, something that uh, Johnny Depp's character in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean starts on at the very, very beginning of the original movie. Going through how to build this little mini fortress complete with a cannon that you can rotate as you can see it's on there. These great pieces, look at that. These printed boards. Oh, if only they still made these. And this, look at that, that's incredible. Oh, you can tell I'm enjoying going through this, can't you? I hope you're enjoying this as much as I'm enjoying it. It's just a blast from the past. And here we have the space seam. So Mtron mixed with a bit of the space, mixed with a bit of Black Tron mixed with a bit of normal space. No, there's only one, I oh know, two normal spaces in there. Three. And then there's the fabulous monorail. Ugh, oh, one day, one day I'll have a monorail or Lego will bring it back, either or. So, again, showing you some complimentary uh, ideas. This one looks like some kind of a medical shuttle where they've, they've picked up a. Um, They've picked up someone who's injured, or he might be a prisoner, who knows, but uh, I think it's someone who's injured. So they've come in to rescue them. Over here, Black Tron, looks like some kind of spy vehicle designed to go fast with lots of cameras. And see again the sets in the background. I remember some of these, the old magnets, when they had these magnet pieces, these were really good. 
You've never seen that. You don't see that anymore. I think that would be a great piece to bring back. It's like the magnets on the trains, but they had special couplings, so you could actually use them to do things like build cranes. It was really good. Really, really good. Here we have the uh, the police police stuff. So this looks like a, a prisoner has been captured. I love these old moon, moon base wheels. They were great. If you ever see these on a Bricklink store, pick them up because they are a really, really good piece. Here we have a robot. That's a pretty cool robot. I like that one. Kind of useful. He's got, got proper arms on him. <laughs> and here we have the sticker sheet that came with this book originally. Never used. Pristine. Let's just have a look at what's on there. We've got a hotel, restaurant. This is quite appropriate given that Lego's just released those sticker sheets that everyone's been going on about. The extra sticker sheets. Here's one from back in the day. With just simple stripes and flames, telephones, other kinds of things, international transport. There's a motorway sign, buses, mechanics. There's a burger joint, a fire. Oh, look at that. Again, there's another vehicle here that you can build for your space set. So it's like a launch thing here. This is cool. I remember building a version of this. Not quite this one. Didn't quite have all the pieces. I had enough though to build it and I built my own rocket to go with it. And it was a lot of fun. And again, you can see some other ideas in the background here. So there you have it. That was a little blast from the past. I hope you enjoyed going through that with me. This is Lego Ideas Book 260 if you're looking for it. I have seen a few around. I don't think they're ridiculously expensive. This is my pristine copy that's going back into its folder with my other books, some of which are <laughs> overused, some of which aren't. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this blast from the past with me, my little ramble through another ideas book. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about this book uh, and if there's any ideas books you'd like me to go through because I do have a whole stack of them and I will be going through them over time. Don't forget to like this video so YouTube knows you enjoyed it. It helps my channel grow. And if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe. I post regularly about all things Lego. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you really enjoyed sharing this idea adventure with me. I'll speak to you again very, very soon.